What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We've got the 4DRC mini folding pocket drone on the channel for you today. We're going to take a quick look at it and we're going to get out and test it out. So we'll open up this box. That's just your packaging box, customer care card inside. Toss that away. We've got the main packaging here with the main advertisements. They're advertising high def camera, Wi-Fi FPV, uh, headless mode, rolls, flips, four channels, six axis, and auto return to home. Anything else on here we need to look at? There's nothing there that gives us any info, nothing there. And they do have a video on YouTube. If you hit the QR code, it'll take you to an instructional video how to use it. Uh, not really that hard to use though, so I don't think you're gonna need that unless you're brand new. So nice thing about this drone, we'll get to the drone actually in a sec, I'm just tossing the packaging away. It comes with phone holder, USB charger, looks like it's proprietary batteries in this one. Got a little bag of goodies here. Let's see what's in there. The goodies, we got four prop guards, a little mini screwdriver. What else we got there? And four props. We got two batteries right there. I'm not sure what, can't see what the rating on those batteries are, but whatever, it's not that big of a deal. Instruction manual, we got several different languages, small little instruction manual there, everything you need to know should be in there. QR codes for the app are in there as well. And there you go, there's the drone. Well, sorry, there's the drone. The drone fits within the controller, that's pretty cool. We'll take a look at the drone here first. We've got these folding arms that click into place and it actually, a decent size once it's opened up, not too bad. You got a little pinhole camera there, I would assume 720p, if not less. Battery, there's a battery already on the bottom. So we got three batteries with this, guys. Three batteries with this kit, so that's pretty cool. They do advertise, I believe, 10 minutes per of flight time per battery. And there's that proprietary charger that you need there because these batteries just slip on like so. They lock into place, you plug it in. Obviously red light's on, and when it's finished charging, that red light will go out. All right, back to the drone. Let's snap a battery on there. Power button on the top there, just hold it. Looks like we got some blue LEDs on the back, some red ones on the front. Very cool, I'm just gonna put that aside for the moment. I like how everything kind of fits in there, and this takes, I believe, two AA batteries. Nope, sorry, two AAA batteries. I'd already put them in there. Well, we have the transmitter out. There's another little compartment here. What's cool about that is you can actually take these sticks off of the transmitter. You can dump them in there. You can dump a battery in there. We can keep a battery attached. Here, we'll put this back on here and we'll show you. So you can turn it off. We'll fold that up. It folds up nice and small. All the arms fold the same way. Let's throw it in here. So now, even though we have three batteries, we can travel with two batteries. Check that out. And that'll fit right in your pocket very nicely. Not much bigger than a cell phone, about double the thickness, but very cool. We can carry the drone, transmitter, two batteries, all in your pocket. Very nice. All right, guys, let's take a closer look at the transmitter here. Very nice that the drone is able to fit in there like we looked at. It's a self-centering stick right there so that means altitude hold we've got our trim buttons on the right our power button right there on the right we've got our calibration button for long press there or emergency stop for a short press auto takeoff auto land short press long press we've got return to home right there and it's also uh what else does it do i don't know it does something else with long press i think return to home here i can look on this little tiny manual here it is one key return the home and headless mode right there. So long press for headless mode, short press for return the home. And this was some kind of weird like auto rotation, auto hover button, short press, long press. And other than that, we've got the top here, flip button on your right hand side there. So you'll hit that flip button then your directional button to do a flip or roll. And we've got three speed rates. We'll turn it on here. Oops, I guess we've got a bind to the drone here. Let's do that. Let's turn that drone on again here for a sec. Up, down, and let me show you if you long press, that's our calibration button right there. And three speeds. 
back to first speed. And that's really all there is to it, guys. Uh, we'll probably try to test out the camera, I would assume, out there. I typically don't uh, use the cameras. Uh, where does that phone holder go? It goes right up top here. You just pull this little insert out there, and you would put this guy in its place, like so, and then holds your phone. All right, guys, stay tuned. We're going to actually get this thing out, test it out, and see how well it does. The little 4DRC mini pocket drone there. Pretty cool looking. I like the look of it for sure. All right guys, we got the mini folding pocket drone here by 4DRC. We just came out to the park here. It's pretty windy out. It wasn't like this when I left, but we're gonna give it a shot anyways. I haven't flown this outdoors yet. I'm gonna turn on the drone. I'm gonna get the transmitter ready to go. And as you saw in the unboxing, everything fits right in the transmitter, nice and neat. We're bound, we're gonna calibrate it done and we're ready to take off we do have one key takeoff right there or we can just hit up on the throttle and it'll start the motors we're gonna get into third speed rate right away because you can see if you can see the trees up there it's uh, pretty windy I mean, this thing does all right now we've lost we lost uh, communication with the drone and we're only about, I don't know, 20 meters out. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go grab that. It's gonna pick it up here, guys. I'm not doing too well. Back up in the air. I'll keep it close. It's got a great pitch and it's nice and zippy, but not that great if you can't uh, take it a little distance away from you. Nice tight flip there. Try some rolls too while we're at it. Nice tight rolls as well. Yaw rate's decent. We're going to throw it in first rate and you can see everything's quite a bit slower. Yaw rate's about the same as it is in third. Jump it up to second. Now we can do return the home just by holding the button there. And it comes back, so that works great. Uh, we got headless mode. Oh, that's actually auto rotation, they call it. So that's an automatic feature that it has. I'm gonna hit the return the home button now. Sorry, I hit the wrong one there. All right, wasn't exactly coming back to home there, so I had to take control of it again. Seems to be doing a little bit better with the range now. I'm gonna put it back in third though, seems to respond better in the wind here. Do another flip maybe? No, we're auto landing again. Look at this guys. Not sure what the deal is. Like we're only about what, 25, 30 feet at the most away from it. That's pretty pathetic. All right, guys. So this time I'm actually, before I give up on this, we're going to rebind it. Obviously, we had some issues out there. I'm not sure what was going on, but uh, we're going to put a new battery in. I'm going to power it up here. And before we go any further, we'll turn the transmitter on too. We'll get it bound. Make sure that's bound. Yeah, solid lights. We're good there. We do have a little camera on there. We showed you in the unboxing, that little camera, pinhole camera up front there. So we're gonna go into the Wi-Fi and the 4DRC Wi-Fi, get connected to that. There we go, we're connected to that. And I'm gonna go over to the app, the 4D Fly app, hit that play button and it should connect us to the camera. All right, so we're connected to the camera. I don't like this phone holder, by the way, on here. It does actually hold my iPhone 10 with the case, so that's a positive, but it seems cheap. Okay. We're just uh, setting the gyros there. And we're gonna be ready to go. Yep, we're ready to go. And let's see what this thing does. We're gonna stick it into third rate I'm not gonna do any controls on the screen we're just gonna we'll, we'll test out the camera here 
power up those motors and hopefully we get a little bit better range maybe it's just something to do with I've already lost I've already lost it guys it's flying away on me right now oh I got it back gee well we might as well take a picture while we have it up in the air not sure if we'll get it back it's flying away on me see ya oh no don't land now just keep going piece of crap forget it guys I'm just gonna fly hey yay look at that something cool we were able to take off what a disappointment can't even go further than that Let's take the phone off here. I think the phone is making it worse. Gee, what a joke. Let's see if we can get this thing to fly away, maybe. Let's see how high we can go. I'm done with it. Come on, get going. Go. See ya. I'm done with you. Oh, come on. Don't land now. Man, I can't even get the damn thing to fly away on me. I don't even want this drone anymore. You know what, I want to at least go to that go post there. What, 50 feet away? I'm done, can't even do it. Never had this issue before. Oh, I think it's gone this time. No. I can't even damn well lose the damn thing. Look at it. Alright guys, I'm done with this junk. You know what guys forget this crap I'm not even gonna leave a link in the description it's garbage I can throw it further than it can fly there I hope I broke it all right guys we'll see you later make sure you hit that subscribe button guys we'll see you on the next one see ya Peace, garbage.